Hello, hi. Whoa. We're going on cut silos. Not what I wanted. This is it. This is this is what you all been waiting for. The return of the rolling uncut. <laughs> Maybe not, who knows? What's going on, people? I hope you all are doing well. I am almost adorno. And I am sunburned. I am sunburned. Can't tell on my face, but my arms are cooked. My ears are hurting. I don't even want to wear my hat correctly. But I am in a rough spot in a lot of ways. I'm still tired. I'm still cooked from the sun and a weekend of drinking at the Mothman Festival in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. A very, very interesting experience. Um, it was good. It was uh, myself, Eagle Viking. Which, if you're watching this, you probably know who Eagle Viking is. Sabahi the Wanderer. The Wanderer? The Wanderer. Sally the Altar Boy. His fiance. Oh my god, I'm gonna feel like such an ass if I'm forgetting somebody. Me, Ego, Sob. Sally, Chris. No, that was everybody. Great. That was everybody. And, uh, we spent the weekend in Point Pleasant, West Virginia at the Maltman Festival in actual Point Pleasant. In actual Point Pleasant. Um, the aesthetic is proper. <laughs> the statue is proper. You know, all that stuff. They did a good job. You know, for what it is, they did a good job. Creating Mothman Festival inside of, uh... Or Moth uh, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, inside of, uh... Law 76. It was good. You had fun. It's cool chilling with everybody. Cool hanging out. There is live streams up on Ego Vikings Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash Ego Viking. Um, several things that we did while we were there. Um, then there's a, an extended live stream of us just chatting about it and other cryptid things uh, at, in, the, in our hotel lobby over some beers. The hotel was very cool and let us record and you know just you know pound back some beers and talk uh, in the lobby. It was very cool of them. Um, so there's that. Uh, Twitter is filled with pictures, you know, all the things. Check it out anywhere you go. But this is Raw on Cut Silos, where we talk about things that I feel like talking about. And I have already spoken about Mothman Festival at length on multiple streams, including my own last night. Push TV slash almost Dorno. So if you are curious about my thoughts on that, you are more than welcome. To go check that out but here this is where we go fast this is where we go fast or at least attempt to go fast as fast as todd will allow us to go that's what we'll do not entirely sure what i want to talk about yet today perhaps persuasion i talked about persuasion in class today oh, persuasion versus who knows? We'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. We're going to focus on going fast and uh, beating a world record. Set by me. I'm going to focus on beating my own record. I don't know anybody who does this regularly. But it's neither here nor there. That is set up. Let's check all this. Nuke grenades. I have mainframe cores crafted and ready, I believe. I do. Perfect. And, uh... I'm probably forgetting something, aren't I? I'm in my raid gear. Er, my silo gear. Let's just double check this. Nope, this is proper. Approach. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go fast as fuck, guys. Let's, uh... Law-abiding citizens will not... Let's fucking do it. Let's fucking do it. 
You know the drill. Door opens. We start the timer. As soon as the quest rewards come on stream, uh, screen or the uh, quest complete, then we end the timer, and that'll be the run. Here we go. Right. Okay, okay, okay. We got the card. Get the scan. How's the scan going? Scan going okay. Not great, but not terrible. I have a distinct feeling we're going to get blocked in this room. Okay, we made it before the block. We're actually doing quite well. We're doing quite well. Wars are going to be the, the telltale sign here. Pipes are going to be a good indication as well. Come, 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 Lots of dominators in here. If you're not wearing silo gear, it would be probably an actual problem. There's no way out of this. A good time on pipes. This is looking pretty good. This could be a fast one. This could be a fast one there, guys. We are fucking cruising. The cores are gonna be the telltale sign here. If we get fucked on cores, there's nothing we can do about it at that point. Because this is quick. We are moving right along. Oh my god. Just works. Security incident resolved. 
we can get prep started under before five minutes, that'd be really good. Just over five minutes. Not a perfect run, but lots of potential to be the fastest. Now we are at the. I don't know. I don't even call it the disposal. At the disposal of the server. That can call. I don't, I don't know. I'm tired. I'm not really thinking straight. We're at the something. It's not what I wanted. There's two things I could have done differently prior to uh, this section. Uh, not get caught on the radial dial for the weapon switch. And uh, not kill the turrets at the mainframes. Those are the only things I could have done differently to make it maybe two, three, three or four seconds faster. I probably could have had prep going before uh, five minutes if that didn't happen, but just barely. Just barely. Just barely. Okay, yeah, so we didn't, we didn't really... I mean, this was this was actually a really fucking solid run. Not a whole lot... I, think, I wasn't even thinking about talking about anything. I don't even know what I want to talk about now that we're just sitting here. So let's just talk about this. Uh, upcoming stuff you guys can expect on the channel. I'm going away to TwitchCon. I'm leaving Wednesday. Wednesday evening. I'm leaving for TwitchCon. Um, I will be posting regular content. YouTube content. Because apparently I'm a YouTuber now. Um... Posting content regularly all throughout the week and while I'm at TwitchCon, I'll be recording all the videos ahead of time and releasing them um, One of those videos is indeed My silo tutorial long asked for finally arrived Even though the game is slowly dying, but still people are still doing silos Maybe people will find it useful in some capacity as it is not only just a silo run through like this is how you do it And this is all the steps you take it shows you How to take it to the next level right not like Speed running ish. I mean, you could probably speed run it with the tips I give you, um, and it, but it's it's the reason why, right? Not lore wise, but decisionally, right? I'm doing it this way because X, Y, and Z. I've chosen to take this route because X, Y, and Z, right? So there's rationale in it as as well. One of the main things, one of the main problems I have with tutorial videos is uh, they often don't explicate why they want you to do the thing that they're doing. They're just like, well, you can do it this way, and then it'll be done. Well, yeah. Yeah. They can't, you can. That, that, that's true. But it... It, it, doesn't, it doesn't help the person. It doesn't teach them anything. Showing somebody something and teaching them something are not the same. Right? I can show you a million different things. But it doesn't teach you why a thing is the way that it is. But if I walk you through and I talk you through the thought process, it allows you to think for yourself on how it can be done. It allows you to understand my thinking. And it allows you to begin thinking about other ways, right? Like why this way and not that way. And it opens up a discussion, right? It allows you to start beginning to form your own path, right? Allows you to start putting together your own thoughts on how you could do this thing, perhaps faster than me. Uh, or, or anyone, for that matter, right? It allows that kind of thinking to happen, other than, do it this way because I said so. Do it this way because I said so gets us nowhere. This is why I do it, and here is a the, re the, the rationale as to why I do it that way, and you may want to do it this way too, is the opening for critical thinking and advancement of what we know. So, that tutorial video is very much a walkthrough of why I make the choices that I do and how those choices affect my run, right? Again, it's not like, it's it's for starting silos, right? It's not like the, the speedrun strats, it's the you can get through a silo quickly doing it this way strat. 
um, which is equally important in my opinion. Because if you show them the basics, they can take it from there and make perhaps new paths. Maybe there's something glaring that I'm missing, you know. Maybe, hopefully, somebody's just as quick. Just as quick. And this is, in fact, going to be a new world record. It's a new record! Fuck yeah. Launch prep complete. Launch prep complete. There it is. 10 minutes and 22 seconds. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. <laughs> Fucking did it, guys. That was quick. Could have been a little bit quicker. Probably could have been down to about 10-15. We will get it down sub-10 minutes. We will get to sub-10 minutes. It seems like... Prep is a little bit wonky right now. It was a little bit more than the five minutes it should have been, but no big deal. It's a new record. It's from Fusion Frenzy, if anybody remembers that game. Hell yes. Hell fucking yes. And it's not at the end of a video of me, of me just being angry. <laughs> Alright guys, fucking cool, man. We did it. Thanks for watching. I got nothing else. I mean, there's gonna be, you know, the <laughs> that's all I got. We fucking did the run. We're so focused on the run and the upcoming content and what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'll get this up as soon as I can. Fucking cool, guys. Thanks for watching. Raw and Uncut Silos. Twitter.com slash almost adorno. Twitch.tv slash almost adorno. Et cetera, et cetera. Thanks for watching. <laughs>